Welcome back, everybody. Terry Johns from the Quarkles is here. Uh, Halloween's coming up in a week or so. You got the kids over that's to right. go trick or treating, and and you want to do some more entertainment. That's exactly Teach right. Teach them a little science. Absolutely, there could not be a better time than Halloween to do a lot of fun science. So today we are going to make what we refer to as vampire veins. Vampire veins. Vampire veins. But we can call it, obviously, if, if people aren't comfortable with that, I'm going to give you the science behind that. So, uh, Rob, I'd like for you to take, this is one cup of warm water. Mm -hmm. Just pour that in your plastic bowl. And what I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a powdery substance, which actually is a calcium ion. These, this chemical can be purchased at Steve Spangler website. This is one of his new products. And just kind of stir that to where that is dissolved. And what is this chemical yeah, again? It is a calcium ion. Calcium ion, mm -hmm. okay. And we're going to stir that. And we want it to be kind of dissolved, which doesn't take very long in the warm water. Now, this rob is in sodium alginate. Sounds really complicated. But really, you will find this in the grocery store, in, on the back of food labels, in pie filling, um, in all kinds of food that's a thickening agent. Okay. So we're going to take this, and as you can see, it's magenta, so you can mm -hmm. make it any color you want. And we're going to just kind of squirt it, just kind of go like this in your, just kind of like that. Give it a good squirt. And that's it. Now, that squirt. Yeah. Now reach in there. And pull oh. those up. Whoa, now you have kind of, isn't that cool? Yeah, yeah. What it's you like did a... is your alginate actually was a polymer, and we had a cross linker with our, wow. with our calcium ion. So did you notice the color? What happened to it? Just, hey, yours was long, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, so you can see why kids would think those were vampire veins. But oh, did yeah. you notice another problem that we I had? Found to suck your what, blood. Uh, it's white now. I was going to say, what happened to the color? Most of it went away. Uh -huh. Okay, this is another part that's cool science. Put that in your cold water. I Whoa. have cold water with ice, Check and it that immediately out. turns back yeah, to the okay. original color. Now take it out. Uh -huh and put it back in the warm water. Okay. See, it's red. And then... It goes back to white. It goes back to white. Wow. So one might ask, why does that happen? Yeah, I'm gonna, why does this that happen? This is called thermochromic dye in here. We do this all day. So there is a dye in here that obviously changes with the temperature of the water. So it is a really cool way for, okay. <laughs> And then, of course, you can always take it and throw it at Chris, you know, across the room. But you can see where kids would have all kinds uh -huh. of fun. Now, Rob, take one of those uh -huh. and, and tell, what, squeeze that. Is it solid or liquid in the inside? Oh, it feels, I, it feels like there's the, liquid on the inside. It's liquid but it, on the inside uh -huh. and solid on the outside. So you have linked those molecules together but still have a liquid substance on the inside. Yeah, there's like a little yes. give to it. The kids have all kinds of fun with this, mm -hmm. but you've got tons of science with this activity right. that goes real well with our Zany Science Zeke books. So it is a wonderful project that you can do at Halloween or really any time. And I just it makes like a fantastic it. necklace. It does. And you can do things. these where you have glow in the dark, so it's a lot of fun. So we'll move that to the side for just a minute. Also, just a little Halloween tip. We know that a lot of kids are wear glow sticks around their neck on right. Halloween night, and um, so people can see them. And one way that you can get your glow stick to last a little longer is to keep them cool, to put them in the freezer. Now, I'm going to crack this, give it a little shake. You can see, I don't know how well you can see it glow in this light, but you can some. Yeah. Now, I'm going to take this and put it in my warm water. Drop it in there. And you get a brighter glow. But now watch. When I take it and put it in my cold water, it is going to dull it. Mm -hmm. especially after a little while. Okay. It will dull it. So your glow stick will last longer if they take those and put them in the freezer put and they'll the get a lot of, and they'll get a, you can see it, as it's dulling. Mm -hmm. So the light dulls. Okay. That is chemiluminescence. Chemiluminescence. You want to just, uh, you know, thrill someone at a party, you can uh -huh. say, hey, have you heard about glow sticks and chemiluminescence, uh -huh. chemical reaction with light? You're going to impress them. We will impress them. Yeah. All right, for more information, 
Corkles. Corkles.com, Fiction, Facts, and Fun, and, of course, on your website, Ozark First. I'm going to play with com. this the entire day. Yes. So, uh, Chris this Smith, a Chris Smith, it's white. Happy